absolutely worth your money. But anyways, we're getting the game number one of a brand new best of three TBT. We're going to cast both semifinals after this. I do believe the winner of this one will probably fight Sulky, but Sulky versus Billowy is currently going on in the other side. Uh, top left side of Preon Terrace is though. We got the blue Terran player, Keen. Spenny, right? Spenny is Keen? Keen, probably. Yeah. In the bottom right, as the Red Terran, it's Gumiho. So we talked a little bit about Gumiho and MVP interactions and all that stuff earlier. Uh, just looking at the bracket, it's actually surprising. We got Choya, coach of MVP, actually coming out to play. Uh, horror as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's not so crazy because we've had uh, Forte, aka Salvation, and some of the other guys in the past, but. Over the break, and I think this was largely in part due to preparations for GSL and SSL, a lot of the Koreans stopped playing. It was a little bit of a bummer, but what's kind of funny is the two guys that would always play, True and Patience, are nowhere to be found today. <laughs> yeah, Patience, I remember he signed up. I don't know about True, but didn't actually check in, so... I'm sure actually pretty positive that Patience could have won this one. Patience is legit, in my eyes, one of the scariest players right now. Yeah. And the funny thing is, a lot of Koreans will agree with that because of his rank on ladder. But he is the least intimidating human being. <laughs> yes. He is like... He's like, he's like he's super like a tiny teddy bear. Or yeah, but he's like a teddy bear, exactly. So you're just not ever afraid of him. So we you know, this one SCV could actually help out, but then... You know, there's a marine up there too, so it's just worthless for either one of them to really engage each other. I mean, if it was just Reaper vs. Reaper, the SV would be a huge advantage, just soaking a hit here and there. But uh, TVT, we actually saw so... You know, it's funny, again, we had that $2,000 tournament right off the bat of, of launch, and we got to explore TVT to its fullest potential. And I really don't think the matchup has evolved or changed at all in the last two months. But one thing that we were seeing consistently were Cyclones, and we see neither player going for Cyclones this game. Yeah, in fact, we see a Liberator, so... Uh, we were certainly a little tired of TVT after the, the all the Elite League to TVT, all of the European, like, uh, the European Time Cup, but still had, like, you know, a lot of Ter Terrans in it, and, uh, of course, that huge tournament. We actually haven't seen that much TVT in the last month or two, so... Actually kind of cool to see it again. Um, after trying our best to find Protosses because they were becoming an extinct uh, extinct race, now they're actually appearing again, and we actually are back to, I don't know, actually having every single race in the tournament. Like, how crazy is that? Yeah, it was really silly when Protoss was not here for six or seven months. Yeah, nothing but TBT, mostly. Oh, oh no. Raise uh, those raise depots, you're depots. dead. That oh, was very Jesus. close. All right, first blood on the other side of the map. Well, this goes on. Sorry, guys. Uh, forgot we had first blood, so I was paying attention to the right side. But SCV gets picked off. That's the Reaper kiting around right now. Just getting a couple of kills where he can. Kind of impressive to see. Although, Gumio, I don't. I know he knows this. You could just, even with the grenade factored in, you can still out-repair one Reaper's worth of damage. <laughs> wow. He, uh, he attacked again on the other side of the map and was, I think, turned back is what we missed here. Yeah, you see explosions on the ramp. He was obliterated, so... Uh, I was watching the Reaper, but it was the army dying that cost that game. Yes. <laughs> 